in Prague, the capital city of the Czech Republic. I'm going to start the morning by going up the hill and visit the castle district. We're outside Prague Castle, which is one of the largest ancient castles in the world. Apparently, it's the size of seven football fields. Let's have a look inside. We're inside the church right now. This church and castle area is one of the most popular attractions in Prague. You can get into a part of the church for free. To see the rest, you have to pay. But the part we're in right now has these incredible stained glass windows. I love the detail and the colours. They're so bright and just so beautiful. That is just weird. We had heard that there was a peen statue in Prague, but I was expecting something more like, you know, in Brussels. <laughs> Not two guys peeing on each other, thrusting their hips to the side and their actual thingy moving up and down. <laughs> oh. We're walking over Charles Bridge. This is the bridge that connects the castle district with the old town. Apparently when they were building this bridge, they mixed the brick with egg yolk to make the bridge stronger. The bridge is still here, so it must have worked. On this bridge there are 30 statues, and one of them is St. Joan Nepomuk. He's a national saint and the protector of the floods. As you can see behind me, people are touching it. Apparently it brings them good luck. You see how much has faded from everyone touching it. This is the astronomical clock and is the oldest still functioning clock of its kind. Legend has it that the guy who made the clock was blinded by the counselor so he couldn't share his secrets. He got so angry that he broke the clock and nobody could fix it for the next hundred years. We've had a great day so far in Prague. We've seen some really cool things. So the yeah. castle and the church up there, crossed over the bridge with the statues, mm. walked through the old town, and that, that clock was so awesome, I think. Yeah, it's a really beautiful town, it's I really think. really cute. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go and try some local food. Was it fruit dumplings? Yeah, I heard Sounds it really nice. nice, yeah. Okay, so we just walked around the whole of Prague looking for fruit dumplings over 20 different restaurants, yeah. and no one had them, so apparently not as traditional as we've been told. <laughs> Instead, we ordered a few beers, uh, Czech beers, and what's this cake? It's a bohemian honey cake. Traditional. It's traditional, mm -hmm. yes, so that's fine. We're going to relax, enjoy these beers, and tomorrow we're off to Poland. Poland.